Apple Gala. Unlike Cezanne, I see more than beauty in the fruit. I bite into gala apples all fall and winter long, golden red, symbols of temptation, knowledge, immortality. Swear by their health power. Indulging in apples belongs to my lineage. I see my mother edging to the massive crystal bowl, grabbing a small red delicious each night, insisting they keep her young. Home for lunch to check the mail, I hear my father tearing into a big red delicious. He had no time for flaccid apples, and neither do I. <laughs> Um, this just came out in an online zine, First Literary Review East. It's called Natural Blonde. <laughs> Distinguished by royal Spanish blood, brown eyes, and white highlights, her pedigree demands that her hair gleam like a freshly minted gold coin. She stands apart from the pack, graces ancient oriental paintings, lends pageantry to parades, Distant cousin to Pegasus, Trigger, Mr. Ed. The Palomina's ancestors befriended Native Americans. Together, they helped settle the new frontier. <laughs> and, um, this poem is in I Have a New Chapel coming out from Finishing Line Press in early January. It's called Kamikaze Dance. Uh, kamikaze means divine wind and uh, you know I'm also um, I'm on the board of the Italian American Writers Association we have uh, monthly readings second Saturdays so um, I'm inspired by Italy and place and even outside of Philadelphia and this is called Zante I knew those days were numbered riding on the back of a motorino at midnight racing the moon as the Ionian Sea's turquoise cover lit our way. I knew someday I'd leave Europe in August breaks. I'd bid adieu to my freelance journalist job, become more responsible and vacation in less exotic locales. So I chose to f savor every minute in Zante, birthplace of poet Ugo Foscolo, precious time with friends from Milan, like Fiona, a school teacher whose mother had roots to the island. Greek poet Homer celebrated Zante in the Iliad and Odyssey. He claimed its first inhabitant was son of the king of Troy. Venice ruled and protected the island for a spell. A pilgrimage to Navajo Beach's 1981 shipwreck marked our nod to history. Channeling Artemis, we explored the island's late mornings, found beaches far from the hard-drinking English, where we hoped to spot Zante's famously protected sea turtles. We whiled away afternoons with Greek gods who served up fresh grilled calamari and wine so pure, hangovers became a thing of the past. Doing nothing was everything. Staring into the sea became our pastime. On Zante, I paired up with Adonis, an ecologist who lived year-round on the island. He wore his broodiness and dark wavy hair real well. <laughs> Fiona partnered with Yanni, and we danced our nights away. One afternoon, en masse, we set sail for a nearby island, home to a soul monk, made the beach our kitchen and bedroom until awakened by a flock of sheep taking a walk in the rising sun. Leaving Zante from Milan wasn't hard. Most dreams have an end point. One summer, Greece's heart took me prisoner. Beautiful. <laughs>